What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Big Truck. You already know how we do how we do what we do. I thank you for tuning in to the King's Table. Shout out to my man Average Man Unplugged. Shout out to my man K Spade for sending me this one. We're going to dive in deep on this one. And we're going to hear what my mans and them have to say. He's going to rap a taste. I'm going to rap a taste. Then the spirit of the universe is going to take us home. So without further ado, let's go ahead and spit that fire on. I tried to wait this out because I wanted to see if it was true or not, man. But it's like the more people started talking about this and bringing this up, I was like, eh, let me catch this while it's still trending, while it's still a hot topic. So it looks like Tom Brady pulled a Hakimi, man. Like, like, <laughs> like Brother Brandon Jamal showed you guys in the intro. So if this is true, man, yo, Tom Brady is a GOAT. Not only on the field, but off the field as well. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, usually I don't get into Blanco people's business. Y'all don't know what Blanco people... You, you took Spanish in high school. Stop playing. You know what Blanco is. You know the color Blanco. You know Negro. You know Blanco. Anyway, I don't really... This woman... Okay, now I see why he sent me this. Okay, let's hear what this motherfucker got to say. We usually get into their business, right? But this was the subject that I had to talk about. So Tom Brady sat up there and had all his assets and everything he had in his mama name. So now that the divorce is going through and Giselle, Giselle, whatever her name is, the mod, the model wife that he been married. They've been married for like decades. She, she, she wanted half, and rightfully so. Cause I would be honest with you, a lot of y'all, you know, be trying to act like Tom Brady was the goat on his own. If you don't shut the fuck up, man. First off, asshole. Tom Brady was the goat on his own. He's the one. Who handled his handle on that field. And, and I remember the story now. And didn't y'all remember. She the one who stepped out to marriage. Having sexual relations. With the personal trainer. Who was also one of his best friends. Okay. She just skipped right over that part like. Okay, you just skipped over that part, right, bitch? Okay. Yes, he was. That woman didn't run a single route. That didn't. That woman didn't go out there and block. That woman didn't even sit on the sidelines and coach. All she did was sit in the stands and cheer him on and support him. There is a lot that goes into preparing for a football game, y'all. Stop! Stop it. This is the chick. Okay, this is the chick. They got a word for everybody else. But her ass is still single. Her ass still ain't got no man. But you got all these relationship advice. I see why your ass don't have a man. You don't know shit about football. You don't know shit about what we do and that he was with a bruja blanca a white witch he even said it in one of his uh therapy sessions or something they was working on him he was laying out on the table and he said it about his wife doing spell work and helping him and this and that he admitted to it so at the end of the day this woman gave up her multi-million dollar modeling career to be his wife have children you know to care for the children he promised her that he was going to retire and he lied. He lied. That's a problem. I hear a lot of talking. But the words don't mean shit. I'm about to put you up on game. Okay? I've been in NFL training camps. I played professional ball. From the AFL to the XFL to indoor 
to Team USA. Before that, I was with the Dallas Cowboys training camp in 05. Before that, I was with the Atlanta Falcons training camp in 01. So, game recognized game. Here's the thing. The longer you stay in, of course, your value increases. When Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay and took them to their Super Bowl, first year, okay, that's GOAT status already. Let's make that clear. Then, they had an agreement. Him and his wife had an agreement. She wanted him to stop. But he specifically told her, my value will increase if I play one more season. She wanted to go back to modeling. Then she made him choose. He chose football. I love this game. Okay? I know this game inside and out. I've mastered this game. I've had mentors mentor me on this game. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. As a person that has a passion for this game, they're retired from this game. In 2023. How dare you sit up there. And say some bullshit like that. You talking to a person that has. A passion and a love for the game. Sit your ass down. And go lay an egg somewhere. That's what she was saying. That was the reason for the divorce. It wasn't nothing else. It was because that he did not want to live up. To their agreement. He said. Yeah. Meanwhile she was cheating the whole time anyway. I'm like, I love, I love how she's conveniently just leaving this part out. No, I'm with you on that. She leaving that shit cold out. If you're going to talk about something, running your mouth about something, don't give us the PG-13 version. Give us the whole rated R. Give us the whole version. It's funny how modern Feminists, mop bucket, spider monkeys, tell half the truths, tell half the stories, but don't tell the whole thing. Edit the real shit out. Edit the stuff that they do, but yap their mouth about what somebody else do, and sit back and wait for the comments to come in. No, if you're going to tell the whole story, keep it a buck and tell the whole thing. How she cheated, how she cheated, been cheating. That black bitch, now that's what they threw on the line. Tom Brady ain't stupid. I'm glad he got his assets in his mother name. Now, run till that. And then when I sit over here and say he lied, okay, he went back and played one more season. What was one more year gonna, what it gonna do? You broke up your whole entire family just for over one more season. Said that he will retire and he will become a family. You know, just be there. He retired and recanted and went back. The man lied to his wife. And on top of that, everything he had, he put in his, he had it in his mama name. That's if you don't shut the fuck up. Smart as fuck. Smartest move ever. You see why. It didn't have anything to do with trust. But it has a lot to do with wisdom. Because he didn't trust her. Well, rightfully so. Because this woman, um, I don't know if you forgot. Because you just sat up here and mentioned it yourself. That she was a multi-millionaire model. And, I, and, and obviously he was smart. Because now she over here asking for half when she doesn't even need it for real. You got a man, you got a husband, and you find out that everything he had, all his assets are in his mother's name, he never trusted you. He used them. He used them. I hear a lot of talking, but the words don't mean shit. Help me make it understand. Help me make it make sense, you dumbass. You light skinned dumbass heifer. Said whatever, and my mama said she laid down when she woke up, she felt 100% better. So, there are people out here that do that type of stuff. She should have did that type of stuff and get your ass a man so you can get some D in your life, so you can sit your ass down and be humbled because you're all over the place. 
Tom Brady's wife was one of them. That's why he was the GOAT. And if you if you really think about it, once she left him, when she left him and he went back to playing football, his skill set declined. Like his game was not his game was not the same. That black bitch now. That's what they draw the line. But you know what? He got more peace. And he got him a woman that looked way better than his ex. So to be honest with you, dumbass, he actually did better when he left her. That man still had some of the best stats in that in the league when he came back. The problem wasn't him. The problem was the pieces around him. He didn't have those same pieces around him that he had when he had that last Super Bowl run with the Bucks. If you gonna be with me, you gonna be with me. If you gonna be against me, you gonna be against me. Either way, at least you let me know how you move. So now I move accordingly. Cause at the end of the day, I'll be damned if I'm gonna let somebody take my damn peace and everything I've worked hard for. It's a problem. I hear a lot of talking. You don't know what we go through as athletes. You don't know what we have to go through mentally, spiritually, physically, just to prepare for the game. We go through a lot. Our bodies go through a lot. Tom Brady protected himself. That soccer player protected himself. And there's many more men out there that are going to protect they self as well. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, oh, we're going to see. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to see. Because if you're going to ride for me, and you're going to ride with me, and you're going to be there with me, and you're going to go through hell and back with me, it's going to show through your character. Your actions going to show. Your actions going to show if your ass need to be here. Your actions going to show if your ass do not need to be here. Either way, it's going to show. Your actions going to show. That's what they throw on the line. Your rightful place. That's the place where you should always be sitting on that throne. Because you a king. Embrace it. And walk in it.